Hello, Kulas, and welcome back to Viva Barca. Welcome to the home of everything Barcelona, where we are going to be discussing on the latest developing stories. We start with Barca winger Usman Dembele speaking in another interview. Of course, this interview comes after another interview he had earlier today. Of course, Dembele spoke about Xavi, Mercy, Lewandowski, Pedri, Gavi, Eric, Obama Young, Barcelona captain C. We are going to be discussing on what the winger had to say. Then secondly, talking about Miralem Pjanic, as it has been reported that the Barca midfielder is set to travel to the UAE today to finalize his exit. We are also going to be discussing on that. So guys, as we get right into it, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, please make sure to hit that subscribe button, give the video a like and please watch it right up to the very end. Barca! After enduring a topsy-turvy year with regards to his future, Usman Dembele has stayed put at Barcelona and is enjoying life under Xavi Hernandez. The 25-year-old looked to be on his way for the major part of the year. In fact, his contract with Barcelona even ran out on June 30th. However, 10 days into free agency, the French international resigned with Barcelona pending a two-year contract. Dembele has carried on in the same vein of form that he displayed in the second half of last season and the Frenchman is happy with how things are going for him personally and the club. On his situation at the club, Dembele said, I am happy, very happy. There is a very good atmosphere in the locker room. I am happy with the coach, with all his staff and now I am enjoying football. On whether he is going through his best phase as a Barca player, he said, This year, yes I think so, this year and the months of last season, since Xavi arrived, since then I have lived my best moment at Barca. On his relationship with Xavi, he said, It's a bit like the relationship I had with Thomas Tuchel, until now the coach with whom I had the most connection. The relationship with Xavi is very good, he has always told me the truth, he supports me a lot and I'm very happy. On Xavi's tactical demand from him, he says, Xavi wants both wingers open and we face one against one, that we give assists, that we score goals for me, as for the other wingers, this way of saying football suits us very very well. On relationship with Rafinha and Lewandowski, he said, very good with both, with Rafinha and Robert, I really knew Lewandowski and seeing him as Bayern, he has been one of the best for years. And with Rafinha also very well, I I knew him because he played for Rennes, which is my team in France, I watched the games and I, he really did very well, they are both very good and, I will, and they will contribute a lot. On competition with Anzo Fati, Memphis and Co, he said, I really like competition and if we want to win, we have to have a very good squad. There are many very good forwards, Robert Anzo, Rafinha, Ferran and O Memphis. That competition for the team is so good because then the best will play. On who among the new signings has surprised him, he said, Lewandowski aside, we already knew him very well, very well, Le um, Rafinha and also Frank is here. Frank is a very good player with experience really well. On the young staff at the club, Dembele said, There are many and very good. If I say Pedri, Gavi will come for me. They are all very good. Gavi, Ansu, Eric, Pedri. Pedri is a top player. He can be one of the best players in the future. Actually, he already is. Eric is a, is a leader. I always tell him that he will captain Barca in the future. Gavi is only 18 and is very good. So are Ansu, Pablo Torre. Bade is very fast and heavy. On Pierre Merrick Aubameyang, he said, we, he wants to play and it was a positive operation for the club too. It was good for both of them. It is a pity I will go to London and see him. He already helped me during my time at Dortmund and also now. And he invited me to something when he gave me assist. On his role models, he said, Messi and Iniesta are my footballing role models. The current players he likes to watch, he said, I love to watch Mares, Sadio Mane and Leroy Sané. On Barcelona's chances of success after a difficult last season, he said, We can, but we have to prove it on the field. Last year was very difficult. There were many injuries. The best player in the world, Leo Messi, left. This year, Laporta and Alemani have worked hard to make a very competitive squad, and I think we are going to win titles. On Barcelona's Champions League chances, he said, Barca is always one of the favorites, along with other greats like Madrid and Liverpool. We have to start very strong, not like last year when we lost to Bayern 3-0 and then to Benfica 3-0. On Group C and facing Bayern Munich, yes, it is a um, very difficult group, but 
we are also very um, they dif difficult for them. It's very good group. They will see very good games and we will go out to win all the rivals and all the games. The team wants to beat Bayern because they beat us last year, also the previous one. On Laporta, comparing him with um, Mbappé, he said, People like to compare players a lot, but Mbappé is a great striker, very top, who scores many goals. On his joke about becoming Barcelona captain, Dembele said, It was just a joke, it was a joke. In the locker room, we have a good captain and Busey and the other three. The most important thing is that there, are, there is a very good atmosphere and that is very good to win titles. On the press criticizing him, he said, I don't want to say much about whether it was being unfair or not. If I was being criticized too much, I'm focused on how to, on performing well on the pitch. Criticism in life, you know, it's life. If it makes you to improve, you cannot satisfy or please everybody. On changing his diet and training, he said, I've been working a lot with my um, physiotherapists and the club staff who are very, very good. I learned that the key is to work outside of the pitch. Our diet is important. We have a nutritionist here at the club as well. If we don't eat here, we get fine anyway. On his two-footed nature and favorite position, Dembele said, I don't know. I dribble with my left but shoot with my right foot. I can use both. I play on both wings but I prefer to play on the right. On his love for the city for Barca, he said, I love Barcelona, the weather, playing paddle with my friends and everything. I love the city a lot. On his aspirations with Barcelona, he said, We haven't won the Champions League in a very long time. And, you know, that's what I came here for. Then on to the next story of discussion. In a fresh development, Miralem Pjanic is one step closer to leaving Barcelona as he is set to travel to the UAE to finalize the transfer to Sharjah FC. This report comes from Fabrizio Romano, who states that an agreement in principle will soon be completed, with a 32-year-old expected to seal the switch to the UAE Pro League side imminently. Pjanic signed for Barcelona in the summer of 2020 from Juventus, arriving as a part of the deal that saw Altomelo move the other way. However, he has had a difficult time at Spotify Camp Nou since his arrival. After being overlooked for the majority of his debut season, the midfielder spent the last campaign on loan at Besiktas. Upon returning this summer, he was widely expected to be sold, but Xavi decided to keep hold of him after being impressed by his pre-season show wings. However, Pjanic is here to play even a single minute of competitive football this season, along with Gerard Piquet and Memphis Depay. The Bosnian international is behind a whole lot of midfielders like Busquets, Gavi, Pedri, Frankie, Kessie in the pecking order, so his game time situation is unlikely to improve anytime soon. That couple with um, the three-year contract offer tabled by Shaja FC have made Pjanic consider a move away from Barcelona seriously. Fabrizio Romano reported on Monday that the 32-year-old was close to leaving Barcelona and he is now stating that the former Juventus ace will soon travel to the UAE to complete the formalities and finalize his transfer to Sharjah FC. Once that deal is over the line, it will help Barcelona complete the contract extension of Gavi and register him as a first-team member with La Liga. So guys, with that, we have come to an end of this episode. Thanks a lot for watching. Until next time, bye-bye.